Hello everyone and welcome to the post week seven recap uh, for HRL RX. We're gonna go into the results first, uh, taking a look at Calgary RX here. So heat races, um, taking the wins in the heat races, Luke taking the win in heat one, Soul taking heat two, as you can see with the night. Um, <laughs> as you can see, only seven drivers on the night. I don't know why this ended up being the night off for everybody. Um, but it just was for some reason. So, uh, should be back to normal next week, but that's kind of how it worked out for Calgary. I think it was probably the air quality, you know, everybody got a taste of it, uh, at Quebec and they were just like, fuck that. I've had enough. Um, so that's, that's how it worked out there. Um, hold on mid update. Yo, you're, you can, uh, retype those. I'll make it more. Oh, that background's so bad. I guess you can still see it. <laughs> the chat background's so bad for this. <laughs> you could like hardly read it. Um, anyways. Anyways. So Moto 1. Uh going through it. So Luke taking the win in Moto 1. Slaunch taking second. Soul taking third. So basically Moto 1 uh was a really good lead battle for the first like few laps. Uh first like five laps or so. And then Jokers came in, and then Luke got a good lead there. Um Slaunch. And Soul had a really good second, third place battle, like, the entire race. It lasted, like, damn near the entire race. Um, for whatever reason, like, Soul had a rough few laps uh, in the first Joker cycle. And then after that, he just, like, figured something out. And he had really good pace, but just could not get by Slaunch. Slaunch was able to hold on to that second place. Again, Soul finishing third, uh, running at the top five. Roman fourth. And then Opix picking up another top five in the season here, too. All right. So then Moto2. Um, Luke taking the win there, Roman taking second, so him, <laughs> him jumping onto the podium too, uh, getting that second place, Sol taking another third place here too, so really solid night, uh, for him, Vulcan taking fourth, and Solange taking fifth in Moto2, so yeah, Moto2, uh, a few jokers early, like some interesting early joker strategy, the most questionable one to me uh, was that Vulcan actually got the lead on track lap two, and then he went in for his jokers, which I know he does his early joker strat, like, pretty commonly, um, but I was very surprised that he, like, literally took on track no joker lead and then went in for the joker immediately. Like, that was a ballsy play. Not sure about that one, but that was one that stood out to me, um, and he, he went for that there, so that was pretty interesting. Um, but yeah, so, <laughs> so yeah, Luke got the lead early, Got away with it there. Roman Roman had some pretty good contest from Vulcan um, from behind, and then they got together, and then once that happened, Roman kind of ran away with second place. Uh, Sol had a really good drive back up to third. He had a really rough start. It was honestly a really good recovery drive for Sol. He could have finished outside the top five. He had a really rough start. So third place is very good. Sol had very good pace on this track. Um, and then again, Vulcan taking that fourth, Slaunch taking that fifth, just Slaunch not finding it in this moto, and Vulcan having that uh, had having a rough incident somewhere in the middle of the race so overall results going to be luke with 34 points roman and soul 28 apiece slaunch 27 vulcan 24 opix 23 can be 20 so that was the lineup there let's go over to the points oh boy uh this is where we're going to get into it <laughs> there's a there's a lot to go over so strap in um because there's a there's a little bit to to look at here um, now that we're getting into the end of the season and now that we're figuring out uh like mulligans and where things are shaping up it's going to be a lot to look at. So let's take a look at the points. So championships already locked up. Um, Luke takes the the championship at this point. Um, too many too many wins at this point. So that's going to be settled here. But beyond that, and well, I guess I suppose Coop kind of has last place locked up too. But <laughs> he's only able to make three races. So those spots are kind of locked. Um, but uh, But beyond that, this middle portion here is very interesting very interesting and i'm curious to see how this works out um once we get into these last races so as you can see here no mulligans none of that this is just the current points this is what they look like right now um so yeah current points and stats no mulligans none of that this is what they look like and of course detail missing a race um you know going out uh clubbing tonight so um he's fallen back to fourth place here but once you see the mulligans that'll give a better picture there um roman obviously missing two nights so he's in sixth place here um and then hunter opix can be armada matt all of them having a missed race as well so you can see that the mulligans will definitely matter 
Um, but all these guys have enough motos where they can still get a full season, including Roman. Roman's right on the cusp, but as long as he makes the last two nights, he will, he'll get there. He'll get there. Um, all right, so let's take a look at, uh, we're going to go through all of it. We're going to go through all of it. So here's the points chart. This is just the normal. This is the same thing. This is the points. Just taking a look. You get to see all the results on the season. Um, you know, pretty much same stuff that we've seen there because we got a lot on this point sheet to go through. Now, here is a look at the points with mulligans applied. So this is a, a pretty realistic look at what the points are looking like uh, right now. So here you go. Here's your, your look at it. And what we have um, is, you know, obviously Luke will be in the front spot. Um, Slaunch in second place right now in detail in third. And that is a very close battle, just a three-point gap right there with five motos remaining. So it's looking like the second place battle um, should be pretty hype um, with those guys being so close. But something to factor in is that Slaunch has these possible mulligans, um, but he has these off, like, top five nights. So Slaunch is in that spot where, um, like, if he has another couple, like, rough finishes... He's going to get some finishes that'll count that are outside of the top five. Like, look at his... He has 16 motos right now, and he's at 11 top fives. And you get five mulligans, right? Um, so, Slaunch is at that spot where if he has some finishes that are outside the top five, those are going to start to, like, creep into, like, counting. Those are going to start counting, and the, that mulligan advantage that he currently has is going to become less of an advantage. So, Slaunch really needs to, like, obviously be detail on track, but also like not have those outside the top five finishes because if he has another one or two of those that's going to really hurt him um you know he's lined up the mulligans perfectly right now but he needs to be an ace in these last five or it's going to start to uh affect him negatively and then for detail he still has a pretty good spot um but for him missing tonight also puts him in a weird spot where he's like kind of there too um but uh but again like he's got that 13th he's got that 12th like Slanch has an eighth here um, so I think details mulligans, if he is really consistent and if Slaunch starts to, it has like a one or two like off nights, I think the mulligans are going to start to look better, uh, for detail, even though right now they're kind of like even between them. So that's something to look at with their battle. And then obviously like, you know, on track, if one of them really like runs it down, then that'll obviously like kind of settle it there too. Oh, obviously wins, wins as well. They're tied on wins. So they don't really have like bonus points on each other. If you want to look at it that way. Um, so if one of them gets, like, another win or two on the other, that'll also make a big difference in their second place battle. Okay, so now looking at the rest of this, uh, so Soul, I, I said it, like, Soul's been in a really strong second half. Look at this. He's got fourth place, um, right now. He's got fourth place by three points over Vulcan. So Soul has had a really strong second half of the season charge. Vulcan had a really strong beginning of the season. Soul's had a really strong second half. And uh, it's it's paying dividends for him. Soul is in a really good spot if he keeps up the pace that he's had to take this fourth place. It's in a very good spot right there. But again, first place is locked. Second and, second and third is locked, but like where they will finish between each other is not, if that makes sense. Like Sl Slaunch and Detail will definitely both be like third minimum. Um, it just depends where they finish with each other. And then these guys, this is where, it, yeah, this is where it's really spicy. Soul, Vulcan, and Roman. Look at this. Three points between Soul and Vulcan. Three points between Vulcan and Roman. These guys are very tight. Um, and their their points battle is very close. And that 4-5-6 battle is going to go on uh, to the end. It's going to go on to the end. It's going to go on uh, literally to the last moto, I'm pretty sure, with how close it is. The interesting thing to factor in with this battle is that Roman only has one mulligan. So that's an interesting thing there. Roman needs to be on point. Uh, if Solar Vulcan, like, have a bad race or two, they can still get a little bit of help. Um, you know, Roman missing two weeks, he's not going to have that. He's not going to have that at all. Um, so that's just going to be uh, a factor there for him. But that being said, even with that, he's very close on points. And if he has a strong second half, he, or if he has a strong last two nights, he can still take that. So these guys are really close. Hunter is in, like, a no man's land. Like, he's just, it, he just kind of has seventh, right? Like, Hunter just kind of has seventh. He's just, like, kind of locked right there, most likely. Um, and then Camby uh, has a close battle here with Opix. Uh, Camby and Opix are actually very close here uh, for their battle. Just two points between them. So eighth and ninth close there, too. Armada a little bit off. Maybe he can make a late charge. And then Matt and Coop are kind of locked into their spots. Um, so here's a t taking a look at uh, the you see the gaps are the same, but this is the total. This is the possible maximum points um, once all mulligans are applied and all races are done. This is the potential maximum points um, if all these drivers went out. So just to clarify, obviously that's not possible. 
Um, this is like for each individual driver to give you guys an idea of what your maximum uh, points total could be if you win out. So this is like for each individual driver to look at to see, um, you know, where that could get them in the points. Um, and then we take a look at their last stats here, the moto averages. Take a quick look at this, what the moto averages are for the different drivers. As you can see, it's the total average on the left, the recent average. Uh, that's probably, I don't know how many, is that like the last two races? I'm not sure how many that is. Opix would have to clarify. That's like last two or last like five or something. I don't know how many it is. Um, but there's a look at that. So you get the other stats that we have on this doc. Because I know people probably don't look at them as often. They're pretty cool to look at. So in case you get bored, get the overall averages here too. So some pretty neat other stats to look at here. Um, so there you go. There's that. And okay, so that's basically all I have uh, for the points discussion. But again, uh, we have some great points battles. Like even though the championship and even though the last few spots are kind of locked, we still have some great battles to watch um, for the last few nights. Uh, Slaunch and Detail, that should be a great battle to watch. I mean, they've been very close with each other. Their stats are very similar. And I'm curious to see how that one winds up. And the, well, the last two tracks, honestly, I think we go into... Um, I think Lagavulin is a track that Detail should like a lot. I think Hog Angelus is a track that Slaunch should like a lot. So that kind of like evens out too. Um, it'll be interesting to see how it plays out. So we'll, we'll see how that one goes. And then, again, like, Soul, Vulcan, and Roman. That's going to be very fun to watch there, too. And if we do anything with, like, seeding and, and how we start the races for Grand Finals or anything like that for the Heats or anything, then this, you know, this could be important for that. Um, but there you go. All right, into the last part of the recap. Um, taking a look at the schedule here. So, as you can see, we have two races left, and then we're into that Grand Finals layout, which, again, haven't fully revealed yet, but trust me, it is... It's gonna be good. It's it's gonna be good. I think you guys are gonna like uh, that track when it's when it's done. There you go. Spoiler alert: it's, it's it's not done yet. That's why I haven't previewed it. Um, but when it when it is done, I think you guys are gonna like that layout. It's a pretty sweet layout, and you know it should be fun. Should be good for a grand final. And it is. It's possibly the most creative. Um, I would say that's why I'm looking forward to it. It's possibly the most creative of all the layouts on the season. Um, and I don't mean that in a bad way. Like, it's a really cool layout. It has some really unique sections. Um, and it should be fun to run. So, trust me, when you guys get the reveal, um, I think you'll be looking forward to that. Hopefully, we can reveal it um, on time once we finish Hog Angelus. Uh, hopefully, we can we can reveal it after that. But yeah, the last two races of the season are going to be Lagavulin and Hog Angelus. Those are the last two races of the regular season. Then we'll have that Grand Finals race. So yeah, three more weeks in July, um, race weeks in July to round out. And then we have a long break and then we get into Indy Hog. Really looking forward to that stuff. Um, and, and you know, I got a video on that. People have been watching it. We've been figuring out stuff. Slaunch gave us a preview of one of his tracks tonight. Um, I'm really looking forward to it. I think Indy Hog is going to be a lot of fun. I think people are going to like that series. And there's still a lot to decide there too. But I think it's going to be fun. It, it, have some other switch ups too. Um, you know, potentially doing pits instead of jokers and stuff like that. So we'll see some cool things there. Um, when we get to that series. Um, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the recap. That's your setup for the end of the season. Um, love to see that we have plenty of great points battles in that mid-pack like we're used to seeing. And I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing how those shape out. Um, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the recap. Again, glad that finally you're getting this RX season in. We've got just a few more weeks to go. And it's been, it's been great so far. And hopefully we can end it out on a good note. Um... And yeah, just been a very solid, consistent season so far. And uh, been a good middle of the year and should set us up well for Indy Hog. Um, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it and hope to see more of you next week uh, at Lagavulin because this track is pretty crazy. This track's pretty crazy, so looking forward to that one. Oh, see ya. Or should I pull the nade shot? YouTube, how the fudge you do?